Oh boy, you look exhausted. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting about to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is a part important part of being productive. Oh my gosh, they all want to speak to me. Hello? What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Moru where the current carries in wreckage from sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down in the... Uh, in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. What about strange happenings? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust me own eyes. Shields the lantern up so the shines brightly onto your face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's trick? Alright, lady. Builder? Oh! You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? I don't want to talk about it. It's got, it's got to be... Oh my god, I'm only British now. Uh, howdy, it's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I just... Oh no, she said bloody. She's not... She's not American country. It's got to... Uh, it's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I'll just need to get away for a while. Maybe just not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find some me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I may really move. There's an island over at about steel point just to the north. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap. And you can visit. Just stack it all up at steel point. Okay. We've got dredge now. Stuff we can dredge with. Let's go to sleep. Because it's 2 a.m. So they said at the around to the back. Shall we go around the back? We probably have time for that. Watch this expert driving. What the frick is this? Start dredging. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. I did it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't sell my fish. Take all my fish. Take this guy. Night fishing is a tall order. <gasps> a new business, crab pots. Yes, I'll try that. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere. Come back a day or two later and check on it. Uh, I've got a fish, a fiddler crab and a common crab. Okay. Take all my fish. Now, what is this? Worn gold ring. Okay, let's go to the back. Oh, crab pot ability with E. Crab time. I'm gonna try to see if we can make it around to the back. Maybe I've gone the long way for that. It's getting dark out. <gasps> Why is someone responding to me? Look at this guy, he's so cool! Someone's like, this person out here is absolutely lost their mind. Okay, I can't take any more of those. Maybe this thing? The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon the surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Touch the stone! It does not respond to your touch. Let's look at the map. Why the frick? Did I go the wrong way? No! 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 Bobby? 
Oh, it's over there. I don't know if this is a good idea. And I am worried. Oh my goodness, look how cool I am. Did you see that? I was really cool. I'm leaving now. I'm leaving. It's very late. I'm leaving. Oh no! I think it's because I'm panicking. As not in the real life, but in the video game. If I stay... Stingray! His name was going to be Larry. No! Something's in my boat! What the frick? Why is he all wobbly? He's got sickness. Fisherman, what is it? You look a touch troubled. Is fog starting to get to you completely normal around here? Nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right as rain. Uh, I'm not right as rain. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this guy. It's me. I'm a big crab. I've been waiting in that little jail that you done put out here, and I very much didn't like being in the little prison. He didn't like it in there. Alright. Let's go to the guy's house and give him the key. He will like that. What's up, dude? I've got a thing for you. Seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. Hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head now somehow seem changed smaller. Has it always been this way? Is that all? Where is the lock? Collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. Oh! My intuition tells me that the current may have carried... The current may have carried some debris... To the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map. Anything else? Not right now, because I'm excited. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. That's scary. I'll stick with my horn. Oh, let's grab this thing. That's some wood. Do 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 do. No, <gasps> that does not count. What did I get? A little of this guy. <gasps> Some wood. Okay, good. <gasps> oh! Let's at least grab this thing. Hello, Indy. I'm trying to tell if that's actually another boat, or if it's just a monster pretending to be a boat. Ghost ride the whip. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you! Were you expecting? Your engine, it sounds. I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. What the frick is that thing? Mm -hmm. 
I love him. I want to keep that one. He's so cute. What's that thing? Bobby doesn't like it. Bobby doesn't like it. Oh my Christ. Those rocks do not exist. No, leave me alone. I'm a small man. Ghost riding the whip to safety. An unknown green energy arcs and crackles over this fish's scales. It thrashes ceaselessly, even hours after being pulled from the waters. <gasps> I love him. I love him. I love him. A riddled flounder. Baggy skin perforated with countless cavities. A singular shapeless mass spreads underneath. How come I didn't get anything cool from those guys? I wonder. He did not sniff them this time. He didn't. Give me this little guy. Now I'm gonna take him back here and get rid of him. Have you got any crabs? <laughs> um, sir? These will do. Glad, glad you got some out of use of that old pot. You can always buy some more. I have one final request. Some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They get sick. Well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. <gasps> He's gonna eat one! I gave you two yesterday, and one of them was so cute. You could have eaten him. Don't know. <gasps> Look at him! Oh, he's so cute! Grotesque mackerel. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes. Bulby. See, I don't think that's a real person that's honking back at me. I don't think that's a real guy right there. I keep staying out too late. Oh no! As long as he doesn't touch my cool boy. I got very turned around for a moment there. No! Please sniff my fish, sir. Have you got any of those mutants with you now? Yes. Remember, any aberrant will, su will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it to his chest, wringing his hands around its slime body. He's choking my fish! I gave him a fish and he's choking it! It's a Lovecraftian horror fisher game, and it is really cool. You did gift me a sub to someone. Take these items. I can do that, sir. Do you hear that? It sounded like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature quickly now. He's going to strangle my fish! Fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. He's choking my fish in there. Catches mangrove and coastal volcanic and shallow. Coastal and shallow. Oh, that's good. We did two of them. So that means that if I go here, so I've got this one that's shallow and this one that's coastal. So if I sell this one, and I sell this one, and then I... Oh my god, I got very scared for a moment. That I didn't have enough room. And then I can buy this. Okay. And then, what if I buy another engine? Will I go even faster? Look at me now! I'm gonna be the talk of the town with all my cool stuff. And you know what? If we 
Let's go check this crab pot real quick. See, there were dudes in it. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast now, I'm not used to it. Sir? Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Buy my crabs. Thanks. Now I'm gonna sleep till the next day. I should have gone fishing, actually. I'm a dummy. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna have such a good time. We're gonna go out into the ocean now. I'm gonna catch that shark that I keep looking at. He sniffed my fish and now he's dead. Look at this guy. I want to catch this guy. <gasps> I've been waiting to catch him. He's cute. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at how cool he is. And he's a cool shape. <gasps> I love him. <gasps> I love him. Bronze whaler. I love him. Why do I love puzzles where you have to fit things in? When I was worked at the grocery store, I loved putting things... I was like, do you want paper? Even though it was really annoying when people use paper. And then I would just Tetris everything in there. And then I would be like, do you want help to your car? And then I would Tetris the cardboard bags into the back of their car. And they're like, can someone please get this girl away from me? I'm full up. I want to see if... See that guy? He's my friend. He is not my friend! Oh, shit. I'm out of here, dude. A resident. What is it? Oh! Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conjure eels to be particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but I think they're delicious if prepared delic- Uh, yep, correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise a subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conjure eel? Thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Anything else? Where can I catch one? It can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Did I mention they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Anything else? Okay. This guy? What is it? Any shipwrecks? The real wreck here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, the devil. Interesting. Some brother... Uh... Spat. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Uh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I have been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move to Ingfell. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into the wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It could mean the world for me. 
I want to reunite these brothers. Okay, we're going to use his place to sleep, I think. But, oh, I've got these fish. Is there... So we've got the hermit. I'm going to see if this... There's a little town over here. I think. And I want to see... If this has a place to sell fish. I hope it runs on the Steam Deck. I wonder. It is really good. Ahoy there, you're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire, haha. <laughs> I'm a traveler and a merchant all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small, small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. Interesting. I know a little bit about each species, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. What did you want to know? Or fish. Uh, long and fragile body. I suspect they live in reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe gale cliffs. Gulper eels. <gasps> Deepest depths imaginable. Specialist gear to catch one. And then tiger fish. They hunt in murky swampy waters using the shade of trees as covers. <gasps> I like these. What about this guy? I have no idea where they are. Maybe a primordial feel to them, don't you think? Look at that thing. We've got to reel that in for sure. Oh no! Good night, Sierra. A spooky nasty man! Oh, let's just get more squids while we're here. While we're here, we might as well get more squids. Okay. Uh-oh. Look, he's my friend! Oh no! Yeah. Ah! Okay. Video game, real video game hours happening here. Oh, sugar. No, leave me alone. I want to catch this guy. Oh, we've... Oh, but I want to see what he looks like. What if he's different? Leave me alone. Get away! No! Oh, shit. No! My boy! My boy! Fine. I did so well. <laughs> Always look where you're going when you drive a boat. I did get greedy. I did. <gasps> a green man. And it's a... What's his name? This guy. I love him! He's so cute! Look at how cute he is. He's so goopy. There's a lot of fish here. Those are the eels. Some more eels over there, I think. Oh, he's stinky. I can't resist a stinky boy. Jeez. Oh no. That's not a stinky boy. <gasps> That's not a stinky boy! Do I have to be more on the spot? Oh no. My light! Ah! No, leave me alone! No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone!
I'm too small to die. Ah! Oh no, get away from me! Get away! Get away! I didn't even get to get the stinky boy. I did it, I escaped. We need stinky eel. Hello? Stinky eel? Oh. Nice wood. I do not like that sound. Father! I don't know why I said that. My stuff! Oh no, everything is bad and there's rocks. I've made an error, <laughs> father. I don't know why. <laughs> I need my dang peepaw while I'm out here on the water. Dang it. All right, let me go to storage and put away the stuff that I was able to retain. And then let me go to the shipyard and repair everything that the fish ate, essentially. I'm going to sleep, and you can't stop me.